What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Vice Fishes Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and then be notified for future readings. This free journal collective reading for Sana Leo. This will resonate if you have Leo in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sign of Leo. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Leo. Weekly reading energy. And as always, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. But the um, first one I heard, factitious disorder. So I had to look that one up. Factitious disorder. I had no clue what that was. So I looked it up. And... On. Okay, I screenshotted it so I'd have it. Factitious disorder imposed on, an, on another. Previously called Munchausen syndrome by proxy is when someone falsely claims that another person has physical or psychological symptoms, signs or symptoms of illness or causes injury or disease in another person with the intention of deceiving others. So, I heard factitious disorder, so I'm going to read it one more time. Factitious disorder imposed on another. Previously called Munchausen syndrome by proxy is when someone falsely claims that another person has physical or psychological signs or symptoms of illness or causes injury or disease in another person with the intention of deceiving others. So, it's factitious disorder is basically when another person falsely claims somebody else has something they don't have either physically or psychologically is what I'm gathering from this. So I feel, I heard factitious disorder. So I feel you could be claiming somebody else has um, a psychological or physical injury and they don't, or somebody could be claiming you have, uh, have a physical or psychological disorder and you don't. How that resonates applies, whether you're claiming somebody else has something they don't have or, you're, or somebody's claiming you have something you don't have. It's called factitious disorder. It's a psychological disorder. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's delusion. It's mon it's previously called Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Um, it's when, you know, trying to claim somebody else has something they don't have, basically. That's terrible. And that's a psychological disorder in itself. Just saying, just saying. Um, you need to stay in your own lane. Um, whether somebody's claiming you have something you don't have or or you're claiming somebody else has something they don't have. That's a stay in your lane thing. Just saying, just saying. That was the first one. The second one I heard uh, for the sign of Leo, I heard a um, Virgo, a previous former Virgo co-worker of a Leo's. I heard he is a um, um, Retired RN. I heard he's an alcoholic. He's about to pass away soon. I heard for one of you guys, you're about to find out about this um, death in an unexpected way. And I heard you will go to the funeral. And I heard many shocking series of chain events will occur at the funeral. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, my condolences to whoever's uh, former co-worker is about to pass away. I heard he's a retired RN, so he does not practice nursing anymore. But it sounds like he physically cannot because of alcoholism. It doesn't say, um, he might be a functional alcoholic, but if he is, I, I, this isn't sounding like a functional alcoholic because functional alcoholics can still work. They can still work and they can still function in society. This doesn't sound like, this sounds like it got beyond functional alcoholism to the point he's about to, excuse me, pass away. So I'm not feeling functional alcoholic and, um, energy here and i'm just being serious i'm feeling like severely like to his death sign door alcoholism how that resonates and applies but he is a former he's a registered nurse retired registered nurse he's not practicing nursing anymore and um he is a former co-worker of yours leo i heard you're about to find out in an unexpected way so a way you would have never expected to find out and you don't work with him anymore. And I heard you're going to go to the funeral. And several shocking series of chain events are going to occur at the funeral. So uh, it's a Virgo masculine. He could have Virgo and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Stone, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates, it applies for you, Leo. 
We have shark and stingray. For some, you could be dealing with a water. Well, we have double water sign energy. For some, you're strong, uh, strongly dealing with water sign. For some, two or two plus water signs. Double water sign energy in your animal spirit card. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter charts. I feel for some, and I didn't hear this just intuitively, I feel a water sign might tell you, might be the unexpected one to tell you about his death, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Spirit message she ever collected. Like We have problems to be resolved. Great good fortune. Spirit message this year, reflected. Through many series of chain of events, Leo is about to learn very important information. Very important information. It's going to cause a lawsuit. It should have happened years ago. This information. Okay, I heard through many series of chain events, uh, Leo's about to learn very important information. I heard the information sounds like it should have come to you years ago, but it didn't. And it sounds like the information is going to lead to a lawsuit. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. We also have recognition, reward for merit. Experiments to do here. Focus number 50 could be very significant number. I mean, yeah, 50 could be a very significant number in your life. Number 50, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 50. Shark. Someone that once very heavily bullied you is about to start getting bullied very heavily. And for one, you are the bully and you're about to be exposed. Okay, so for one of you guys, someone that once bullied you is about to start getting bullied very heavily. And for one of you guys, you are the bully and you're about to be exposed. So, only you know if you're bullying somebody and not anybody else, Leo. Um, so, for one, you are the bully and you're about to get exposed. So, you are the shark energy. If you're the one bullying somebody, I feel you can be masculine or femme. Only you know if you're a bully, not anybody else. But if you are, you're about to get exposed. Shark energy, bully, Leo. For another one, you guys, you were heavily bullied in the past. But the same person that bullied you or people that bullied you is about to start getting very heavily bullied. So, um, they were once the shark to you, Leo, um, if you were the one that was bullied in the past, but soon they're about to start getting bullied, people are going to be the shark energy to them. Oh, man. Nobody should be bullied. But it does happen. I've been bullied. I was retaliated against for years. Gang stalked, retaliated against. I mean... So much so my kids aren't even here anymore. And that's just the truth. Stingray. Leo will probably experience an unexpected phone call from a Capricorn energy soon. 
unexpected. The shit's about to hit the fan for them. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's an ex-boss. For one, it's an ex-lover. Okay, I heard the shit's about to hit the fan for a Capricorn energy, heavy caps energy in here. Uh, Leo, if this resonates for you. Um, the shit's about to hit the fan for them. I heard they might call you soon. Unexpected phone call. So, whether it's an ex-lover of yours, so you were sexually connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion, ex-lover, um, ex-boss, or um, um, family member. So, whether it's an ex-lover, ex-boss, or family member. Um, I feel they were stingray energy to you. Uh, I feel they were very, they, I think, okay, so stingray shock. They shock. So, in this aspect, this is the shocking phone call, I feel. But I do feel they were probably a shark energy to you in the past. Her shit's about to hit the fan for them. So I don't feel it were, they were a positive energy in your life. Or they haven't been. How that resonates and applies. Um, there's a reason it's about to be a shocking phone call. So I don't feel they're in current energetic connection with you. There's a reason it's going to be a shocking phone call for you is what I'm saying. So Stingray Shock. So in this aspect, this is a shocking phone call is what I'm feeling. Um, I don't feel it's somebody you speak to every day or communicate with every day or in positive energetic connection with. Uh, it's a, the reason it's going to be a shocking phone call. So shocking phone call with Stingray energy, whether it, and it's Capricorn energy, they could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Dome, and Haven, Jupiter charts, whether it's a family member, an ex-lover, or an ex-boss. And this also could be the shocking death of that former retired alcoholic masculine RN. Virgo. I'm not Virgo. Ooh, I don't know why I said Virgo. Maybe it's Virgo in his chart, or maybe a Virgo is connected to him. I didn't hear Virgo. I just said Virgo. I meant, um, yeah, it is a Virgo. It's a Virgo. It's a Virgo. I didn't hear Virgo, but it, earlier in here I did. It's a Virgo. It's a Virgo. Orion. Yeah, Virgo. Just saying to say. Yikes. Let's see if we hear anything else. Communication is about to go, go like wildfire about your channel. Like wildfire. You have a tarot card reading channel. Psychic tarot card reading channel. For one, you just recently got your channel back. Your platform back. For one, people have strategically not known about your channel. But they are about to know. And they are about to start searching your channel. And subscribing. Okay, so there's at least two of you, uh, two Leos, if this resonates for you. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. So for one, you recently got your channel, your platform back. I heard channel platform, so I think you might have a YouTube channel or any other platform that has channels. But I strongly feel it's probably a YouTube. It's YouTube for both. Okay, it's confirmation. It's YouTube for both. So for situation one, it's a YouTube platform channel. You got it back. Got it back. So, something happened to where your channel was reinstated in some shape, form, or fashion because you got it back. So, reinstatement of your channel, if this resonates for you, Leo, uh, you have already gotten it back, it sounds like, in the energetic space. And I heard your channel is about to, um, people are about to find out that you got your channel back. Um, and um, I'm assuming the previous people that were on your channel that you know, we're not able to view your channel because you just recently got it back, recently reinstated, it's meaning you, what, you were not active on it. So I'm assuming the people that were on your platform when it was shut down, they're about to realize you're back. You're back on your channel. And I heard your business is about to go up. That's situation one. So the reinstatement of the channel, YouTube channel, situation one. They're, I think they are shocked that you got it back or they're about to be shocked you got it back, but it's about to help you. Um, and I think you're very focused on your channel, or you're about to be, and um, your business is about to go up because people are about to be shocked you got your channel back, but I think in a positive way. So they're going to start watching you on your current channel, I'm presuming. I mean, the reinstated channel, and it's about to make your business go up. That's situation one. And also, I think that is uh, the great good fortune there, too. 
that's situation one. And I think you're going to be recognized for having your channel back, getting it reinstated. Now, hopefully you follow the proper policies and procedures so you don't get it taken down. Again, just saying, just saying, the situation one. Situation two, um, you already have, uh, um, I heard both YouTube. So you already have a YouTube channel, situation two. And um, people were strategically not being told that about your YouTube channel strategically. But I heard soon, a lot of people were about to find, it sounds like it's going to be word of mouth. It sounds like it's going to be a word of mouth or social media sharing or both. And your channel is about to go up in a very positive way. And that to me is a great good fortune. And the recognition, recognizing your channel, uh, people were strategically withheld from the information of your channel. Strategically, we're being withheld, but it is about not to be controlled. Word of mouth is about to go like wildfire. Okay, situation two, people were strategically not being told about the channel, but soon word of mouth about to go like wildfire. So that's situation two. You already have an established platform. You have not a YouTube channel. It has not been taken down like situation one. That's reinstatement. Situation two, it, you already have it. It's already up there, well up there. No, been taken down. But people have not been talking about it strategically. But soon it's about to get around like wildfire. And I think that's about to make your business go up. Okay? Whoever you are with that one. They're both reading channels. Tarot reading, psychic channels, I heard. For both of them. One and two. Okay? I think people are about to be shocked, maybe, about the content on Situation 2, or shocked of the information, or shocked on something, because we have the Stingray energy. They are about to be shocked about what you say, and one's about to realize you have a doppelganger, and it's about to make your business go up even higher. Okay, I heard they're about to be shocked about what you say on situation two. They're about to be shocked about what you say. And I heard um, one of these people that's about to learn about your channel is what I'm feeling with the shock energy. They're about to be shocked about what you say. And one of these people is about to realize you have a doppelganger. So anybody doesn't know a doppelganger is somebody that looks externally like you. Either they cosmetically recreate themselves to look like you. Or they just naturally look like you, but they're, somebody, somebody's about to realize you have a doppelganger that looks like you, either cosmetically or naturally, and it's about to make your business go up even more. So for one of you in situation two, you have somebody that looks like you, either naturally or cosmetically, but that's going to benefit your business. So shock energy that you have a doppelganger, shock energy that you have this psychic business channel on YouTube, um, word of mouth. It's about to go fast for situation two. Situation one, your business is about to go up. Shocked, you got your reinstatement back. Both situations are about to go up. For both of these channels, there is a very low vibrational Scorpio tarot reader that lurks these channels. He is a very sneaky, jealous person. Just know the negative energy is about to boomerang back upon him in a huge way in his hometown. In very unexpected ways. He's done nothing but make both of your, your lives as miserable as he possibly can. And it's about to backfire on him in the form of people in his own hometown about to realize this and they're not going to like it and a baby mama and a baby mama my god okay so for both of you guys there's some weird low vibrational scorpio masculine tarot reader lurking your channels ma'am ma'ams or sirs you mean ma'ams or sirs i didn't hear if you're a masculine or fem leos there's a scorpio masculine low vibrational for both of you that heavily lurks your channel he doesn't like your channels. I think he's secretly competing with you. I didn't hear he was, but intuitively, I feel he's secretly competing with you. 
I don't think he lives in your in your town, though. I'll tell you that. Because I don't think he lives in y'all's town. Now, you could live in the same town or different towns, but I heard his hometown. So, he, I don't think he lives in y'all's town. And I'm just being serious. But how that resonates, I heard he's about to... He, I heard he has been very jealous of you guys secretly, of both of you secretly. And he's been putting negative energy out to both of you secretly. So I hope you're doing your return to senders and protection spells on your tarot reading channel, your collective, and against him. Hopefully you can identify who he is. Um, I think he's coming in as a shark energy. Neg um, negative energy towards your channel. He doesn't want you to do well. Um, but... I definitely don't think he lives in your town for sure, but I heard basically, and this is internet related, YouTube. But I heard his hometown is basically, he's about to start having some kind of shocking negative series of chain events. It sounds like his hometown is about to become sharks to him. And he's about to have some negative series of chain events happen to occur, occur to him. And that's how the negative karma that he's been putting out to you guys, the negative energy to you guys about to boomerang back upon him in the form of his hometown about to become sharks to him. Um, and a baby mom. So, he's about to have some negative karma in his hometown. In the form of a baby mama and some hometown people. How that resonates and applies for him. It's a Scorpio masculine terror reader. But he has been heavily lurking and stalking your freaking pages, both of you. Um, how that resonates and applies. Yikes. It is about to get so overwhelming for him. So overwhelming. He's going to try to act like on his channel that it's not going, that it's not happening, but it is going to be happening. It probably will come out. He thought he was gang stalked in the past. He knows nothing about gang stalking, but he's about to learn about it. Oh, my God Almighty. Whoa, he is coming in so strong. Okay, I heard, okay, so he has an online public platform, too, probably on YouTube, too, because y'all have YouTube platforms. Y'all coming in strong, but, okay, and so is he, but some kind of gang stalking is about to happen to him. I heard he thought he knew about gang stalking in the past, but I heard he has no idea. He has no idea, but he's about to learn what real gang stalking is. Um... And it's about to come in the, I don't know if the baby mama's gonna have something to do with this, and hometown people or a combination or what but somehow his baby mama somehow hometown people and somehow he thought he knew about gang stalking but he really damn don't and he's about to realize what gang stalking really is has come into play with this with people in his hometown so you plug it in how it resonates whoa problems to be resolved For one, you should have received a very large amount of money in the past for home repairs because of an investigation of the past. But you were never notified about the investigation and you never received the money. But through many shocking series of chain events, you're about to. Okay, so for one of you guys, you were supposed to receive money for home repairs through an investigation of the past, but I heard you were never no, you were never given the money for the investiga uh, for the home repairs or the investigation of the past. So you were never notified of the investigation of the past or given the money for the home repairs. If this resonates for you, Leo, but I heard through many series of ch shocking series of chain events, you're about to, uh, I guess, be notified of the investigation because whoever this is for, you're never even notified of the investigation. And you were never even given the money for the home repairs. But I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to um, about to get it. So problems to be resolved. Notification that you were even in an investigation to begin with. 
because you were never even notified and you were supposed to be giving money for home repairs and you were never giving it. So problems to be resolved, if that resonates for you, given the money for the home repairs and even notified that you were even under investigation or part of an investigation, how that resonates. A private investigator that was hired by your karmic mother in the past to investigate you, keep an eye, heavy eye on you, through many series of chain of events, is about to backfire on her in a huge way. Oh my God. Okay, so for one of you guys, your, your karmic mother hired a private investigator to I heard to keep tabs on you and to spy on you. Um, so basically, legally stalk you um, through a means of a private investigator uh, for one of you guys. It was a karmic mother that hired this private investigator to do this. So karmics are basically people that do not mean well for you. And I heard she basically, the whole intention of her hiring this private investigator to investigate you was to stalk you and keep tabs on you, basically. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire on her, so I don't know how it's going to be backfire on her, um, but somehow it's about to. Information is about to come to the light very publicly about her hiring, uh, hiring him to do this. And it's going to go very badly for her because she has lied so publicly on you in the past. Okay, I heard information is about to come to the light very, very, very publicly that she basically hired him to legally stalk you. Um, and it's about to come very publicly to the light that she did hire him legally to basically stalk you. Um, and um, it's about to go badly for her because of how she lied on you so publicly in the past. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Leo. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. A Cancer and Identity Theft and a Pisces and Identity Theft and a Libra and Identity Theft is about to come very significant in your life in a positive way. These people are about to ever regret stealing your identity, forging your signature. Through many series of shame events, you're about to get every single penny they stole from you, and they are about to be pissed as hell. Oh my god. Whoa. So you plug in how it resonates. So a Pisces, a Cancer, and a Libra. It can be masculine, femme, Pisces, masculine, femme, Pis uh, Cancer, masculine, femme, Libra, Pisces, femme, um, not femme, Pisces, Libra, or Cancer, and a Sagittarius, and a Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius. They could have Pisces, Cancer, Libra, or Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hades, Jupiter, Charts. But I heard they identity theft and fraud. So they have committed identity theft and fraud against you, Leo. 
sounds like for some it could be one energy for some it could be two or two plus but you got pisces cancer libra and sagittarius some kind of identity theft and fraud i heard through many series of shame events they're about to ever regret they have stole money from you so it's obviously over money and they have used your identity and some kind of frauded signature or signatures i'm presuming to do it but i heard through many series of shame events you're about to get the money you're about to get the money back um that they have stolen from you um and hopefully their ass goes to jail heard they're about to ever regret it so i'm they are about to be caught and apprehended. They're about to be caught and apprehended. They're about to be caught and apprehended. Caught, I mean, apprehended, I'm assuming, is jail. So, great good fortune is you getting your money back from some kind of fraud and identity theft and caught in apprehension. I'm assuming apprehension means jail, but you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. A significant donation is about to come in to a particular Leo soon. Well-deserved donation. Large donation. For one, you're about to get a very large monetary reward for really helping solve a large crime. Oh, wow. Okay. You're a reader. You're a reader. I heard you're a reader. Okay, so for one, you're a tarot reader, and you're about to get a very large reward um, for helping so solve a large crime, for one. For one, you're about to get a very large donation, um, and you're a reader, tarot reader, if that resonates with you. Um, well, congratulations. So, recognition reward for merit is either a large donation or a, um, a very large reward for helping solve a very large crime um, for whoever you are, terror, terror reader, Leo terror reader. Whether um, you get one of these apply for you or both apply for you or none apply for you. But recognition reward for merit in this aspect is the large donation for one and for one um, a um, very large reward a monetary reward for helping solve a very large crime. Um, I feel you're a psychic investigator is what I feel for one of you guys. Focus. Uh, Leo is about to really start focusing heavy on things they need to do, many things they need to do. Home, work, business. Uh, Leo is about to really start focusing on many things they need to do, homework and business. So some kind of homework and business energy, focusing on homework or business for one of you guys, it could be one, some, it could be two or two plus, homework and business. So focusing on homework and business, if this resonates and applies for you. For one, you're about to set up an office back in your, your bedroom. For one, you're about to set up an office back in your bedroom. So, for one, you're about to set an office back up in your bedroom. Um, however, that resonates and applies. I'm assuming some kind of home office in your bedroom or an office space in your bedroom, if this resonates and applies for you, Leo. Um, focusing on um, some kind of home office space in your bedroom. Whether I feel that could be just like a laptop on your bed or it could be a whole little office area with a um, table and a laptop and a space like I have or however you do it but it's going to be in your bedroom like this ain't in my bedroom but 
uh, however you do it in your bedroom, I guess, if that resonates for you, okay? An unexpected phone call to a Leo soon. For one, it's going to be very negative. For one, it's going to be very positive. Shocking news. Some kind of shocking news, or which that would make sense with the Stingray energy. Some kind of shocking news for one of you guys um, in a form, form of a phone call. It's either going to be positive or negative. I think you're going to get focused on the news. Um whether it's positive or negative, but it's going to come in the form of a phone call. Um, how that resonates and applies for some, that could be the problems to be resolved. The shocking phone call coming, whether it's positive or negative, um, with the phone call. A significant medication change, one for you, one for your child, one for your children, is about to become very positive and significant in their lives. And your life. Okay, significant medication change, whether it's your medication change for you, Leo, or for your child, one child, or two or two plus children, it's about to become very positive and significant in your life, in your children's lives, whether you help make this medication change, or um, if you have custodial rights over them, or visitation rights, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, for some, it could be the other parent, but. Um, regarding the children or for your health. Um, for some, it's your medication about to be changed, whether you initiate the change with your physician or they initiate it, um, or your children, child or children, how that resonates and applies. But focusing on some kind of medication change here, whether you're taking charge of your health or you're taking charge, helping take charge of your children's health, or they're taking charge of their health, whether they're adults or uh, minors or the physician or who uh, CRNP or whoever, whoever recognizes need for medication change, okay? Um, however that resonates in the class. For one of you, someone really recognizes your intelligence very, very, very much. It's about to benefit you in a very huge way. For one, someone really recognizes your intelligence very, very, very much. And I heard it's about to benefit you in a very huge way. So if this resonates for you, Leo, you're very intelligent and somebody recognizes your intelligence. Uh, somebody in the universe recognizes your intelligence. And I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So in this aspect, um, recognition reward for merit is somebody recognizing your intelligence and it about to benefit you in a huge way. Um, hopefully it benefits your children with the medication. Um, because we have medication changes in here too. Uh, for some of you guys, one child, for some, two or two plus children, for some, you. So, but for one of you guys, you're very, very, very intelligent and um, you're, somebody recognizes this and you're about to be, it's about to benefit you that they recognize you're very intelligent. Um, I feel for some of you guys, they might've lied and said you were not intelligent in the past, but you're proving them wrong is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. But you plug in how it resonates, Leo, okay? I feel guided to pull one more and then I'm going to close it out, okay? An Aquarius is about to try to come back for one of you. For one, it's an ex-boyfriend. For one, it is a community member. For one, it's someone you went on a date with one time. 
Use your best discernment. They're coming back for a reason. One of these people has good intentions. The others do not. For one of you, one will come back. For one, several will come back. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So, whoever this is for, we have, and there's several of you. We have an ex-boyfriend, Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy across the board. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, Jupiter charts. Whether it's your ex-boyfriend, a community member, or a, um, who's the other one? Ex-boyfriend, community member, and um, there was another one. Who was the other one? Hold on. Ex-boyfriend, community member. Oh, a person you went on a date with one time. Ex-boyfriend, community member, and person you went on a date with one time. Aquarius energy. Strong. Whether it's your ex-boyfriend, a community member, or a person you went on a date with one time. But I heard one of these people, one of you guys, is going to be one person come back, one is going to be two or two plus. But hard to use your best discernment and judgment because whoever these people are, whether it's one person or two or two plus going to come back for you, if this resonates for you, one has good intentions, the other ones don't. So for one of you guys, I feel one's going to come back. One, two, or two plus. But if it's the two or two plus, one of them has good intentions and the other ones don't. You have to use your best discernment and reasoning here. Whether it's an ex-boyfriend of yours, Leo, a community member, or a um, person you went on a date with only one time. How oh, that resonates in a class. I think you need to get focused and use your best discernment there when they come back. Uh, I heard one, ha for the ones that are going to have two or two plus come back, one's going to have good intentions. The other ones are not. So use your best discernment. All right, I'm closing it out. Actually, I'm not going to pull another card. I'm closing it. I love you guys. I'm sad.